All right, this is another free fall example, and I'm just gonna risk it. I haven't done this one yet, so let's see how it goes. All right, there is a 242 meter high cliff at Half Dome in Yosemite National Park in California. Suppose a boulder breaks loose from the top of this cliff. Okay, how fast will it be going when it strikes the ground? And assuming a reaction time of 0 0.270 seconds, how long will a tourist at the bottom have to get out of the way after hearing the sound of the rock break loose? Okay, neglecting the height of the tourist, uh, the speed of sound is 335 meters per second on this day. Okay, so let's think about this for a minute. All right, so first thing I wanna do always is draw a picture. Okay, so I have the rock. I guess the person would probably be under it. It's not a projectile. Okay, so dude's under it. Okay. Um, and this is 242 meters. All right. Uh, let's just figure that part out first. It's going to start at a velocity of zero, right? Because it just breaks free. It's not thrown or anything. And I need to set a direction. So I'm going to pick down. Okay. I almost always pick down if it starts off dropped or going down, right? The only time I might pick up is later, like if it's thrown up, which we'll see a little bit later, okay? All right, so let's write down what we know. So we have the V-naught of the rock is zero. I want to know the final velocity of the rock. I know the delta Y is positive 242, right? Because I've set down as positive, and the acceleration is positive 10 meters per second squared, right? If you'd like to use 9.8, you know, I'm not going to stop you, but... Why bother? Okay, all right, so I'm gonna pick this equation because this has everything that I need. That's zero. Okay, so my VF is gonna end up being the square root, remember, plus or minus 2AY. Square root of 2, 10, 242. Okay, and then let's see, calculator. 20 times 242, and then square root, pretty fast, 69.6 .6 meters per second, okay? And I'm going to choose positive for my plus or minus because I know it's moving downward, okay? All right, um, assuming a reaction time, whatever, uh, how will the guy get out of the way, okay? So if I want to know how long it's going to take, right, for the for the rock to get there, okay? Look, just by thinking about this for a minute, if it's getting up to a speed of about 70 meters per second, about how long is that to fall, right? You should easily be able to see that this is gonna be right at seven seconds, right? Because it's increasing its speed 10 meters per second every second, okay? But if I wanted to go ahead and actually calculate it for real, okay, so that's gonna be VF over A, 69.6, over 10. Oh, look at that. Just what I said. 6.96 .6, oops, seconds. Okay. Right. So think about the problem. So that's a pretty decently long time, right? That's a pretty decently long time. All right. Um, okay. So now let's see what's happening here. This is going to get a little trickier. So the, the guy might not see it. I think what they're trying to get at is he'll hear it. Okay. So if the speed of sound is 335 meters per second, all right? Um, and he is 242 meters away, right? How long is it gonna take him in, uh, to hear the sound, right? So first of all, the sound has to get to him, okay? So this is just gonna be a really simple, like average velocity type equation, okay? So T equals delta Y over V. 242 over 335. So it's going to take him about, okay, 0.722. Oops, what the heck happened there? Okay, let's say 0.72 seconds till he hears it, right? Okay, so now let's think about how long is he going to have to move. Let's see, this is kind of tricky. All right, so he... The rock breaks free. He hears it 0.72 seconds later, okay? It takes him 0.7 or 27 seconds to say, oh, no, this is, you know, something's falling on me, okay? So that's about 0.99, or that's going to take him about one second until he can actually move his body, right? Because it takes time for the sound to get to him. Then his reaction time for his brain to register, uh-oh, danger, takes about one second, okay, right? 
the boulder takes about seven seconds to fall. So I would say that leaves him about six seconds to get out of the way. If he, you know, registers that immediately as a threat and then moves out of the way. So I would say that gives him about six seconds to get out of the way. Okay, the time for the speed of sound plus his reaction time, that takes about a second. And then he gives him about six seconds to get out of the way. So yeah, doable. As long as he's paying attention. All right, that's it.